Welcome to Analog Communication Playlist. I, Professor Hitesh Dolakia, is going to explain you super heterodyne receiver in this session. And to understand super heterodyne receiver, these are my session outlines where first we will see basics of super heterodyne receiver. After that, I'll show you block diagram of super heterodyne receiver step by step. And along with block diagram, we will see working of super heterodyne receiver. After that, there is one very important concept of ganged tuning capacitor. That is what we will discuss it with one example in super heterodyne receiver. And at the end, I'll explain what is image frequency and how to avoid image frequency in super heterodyne receiver. So these are my session outlines. Let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of super heterodyne receiver. Now see, when we talk about high frequency, operation of signal at that time you'll be finding processing cost of circuit is very high so all we need is we need to convert high frequency into low frequency for processing of signal in circuit then we can reduce cost of circuit right so processing at high frequency is costly so we convert high frequency signal into low frequency signal for processing with lower cost of circuit and at low, low frequency transmission cost is very high right at lower frequency size of antenna as well as transmission cost is very high and at low frequency bandwidth is even very low so signal transmission that should be done at high frequency so at high frequency we need to convert that to low frequency to reduce cost of circuit. So processing of signal should be done at lower frequency and transmission of signal that should be done at higher frequency so that we can reduce signal transmission cost along with the bandwidth. And that is what the case which we do it in super heterodyne receiver where here we receive high frequency signal and that is what we will be converting into low frequency signal to have a pro proper processing at lower cost. And our agenda of super heterodyne receiver is to translate high frequency RF signal into low frequency message signal and then we can have a processing on baseband message signal. So this is the basic thing which we do it in super heterodyne receiver. So signal transmission that we do it at high frequency and signal processing that we do it at lower frequency. Now let us see the block diagram so it will be more clear. See here first we have antenna and this antenna will receive RF frequency that will be high frequency signal right and after RF antenna we will be having RF amplifier and in RF amplifier there will be low noise amplifier LNA. The reason is whatever RF signal that we receive that will be having maximum noise and we need to avoid noise at first block so that minimum noise will get transferred to rest of the circuit. So in RF amplifier we will be having low noise amplifier and here in amplifier category we use class C amplifier over here. After RF amplifier, RF amplification will be having a strong signal over here and that is what we will be giving it to mixture. One can say that is first detector. So here RF input signal will be there and second input to this mixture that will be given from local oscillator and mixture will mix this two signal. So output of mixture will be having two frequency components addition of RF signal and local oscillator frequency and subtraction of RF oscillator RF signal and os local oscillator frequency and here our agenda is to translate RF frequency into lower intermediate frequency so here we don't consider addition of two frequency signal here we consider subtraction of two frequency signal and after that there will be IF amplifier right so here we will be having intermediate frequency that we need to amplify it again so we use IF amplifier over here after that there will be second detector over here and in second detector similar 
to this circuit will be there there will be mixer as well as local oscillator and that local oscillator uh, along with mixer will convert IF frequency into message signal frequency over here and that message signal again we amplified by having power amplifier so here we have strong message signal that we can give it to speaker right so this is how complete block diagram is there with super heterodyne receiver now let us try to understand all those things step by step along with frequency of operation right so here first we receive rf signal frequency let us say it is frf that that is what we are amplifying it over here so here we'll be having rf frequency local oscillator frequency that will be a flo there could be two different local oscillator frequency which we can consider frf plus fif as well as frf minus fif but we don't consider frf minus fif we consider usually frf plus fif only and reason for that that we will discuss it with separate session where i have made separate session based on selection of local oscillator frequency so at that time we will see why we consider flo lower than uh, why we consider flo greater than frf right so we should not keep flo less than frf so we don't prefer flo is equals to frf minus fif so we consider this frequency only and as i have told mixer will mix these two signals frequency so there will be two different frequency components addition of these two frequency and subtraction right so addition will be 2 frf plus fif and subtraction will be fif only right and our agenda is to have lower frequency translation right so we consider this difference we don't consider this so there will be uh, removal of this pre addition component of frequency and we can have fif over here right and that is what we will amplify over here by if amplifier and after that there will be second detector and see this second detector will can be synchronous uh, detector right where another local oscillator will be over here and with respect to that here we will be converting this fif signal into message signal that will be again lower than fif right and again there will be power amplifier this power amplifier can be push pull power amplifier and that is what we give it to the speaker and we can have uh, voice signal over here right so this is how this super heterodyne receiver functions now there are a few things that we should try to understand over here see there can be few issues like what will happen as if we receive frf1 like if we don't receive frf exactly as it is there with local oscillator which is frf plus fif if somewhat different frequency that is happening over here then what will happen so let us consider frf1 frequency is there over here so in that case here addition will be frf plus frf1 plus fif over here right and difference will be fif plus frf minus frf1 right so here you will be observing we don't have fif as a difference but we have somewhat difference with respect to fif signal over here so this will result into different frequency than fif over here so that will be fif plus frf minus frf1 which is bit different than fif and that will results into degradation in quality factor so we should avoid that issues so how to remove that issue so to remove that issue all we need is if there is frf1 frequency over here in that case local oscillator frequency that should be frf1 plus fif and to have this here we have gang tuning capacitor 
So gang tuning capacitor that is there in between RF amplifier and local oscillator and that gang tuning capacitor will result into same frequency tuning over here with FLO. So if FRF1 frequency is over here, in that case FLO will be FRF1 plus FIF. In that case, addition will be 2 FRF1 plus FIF and difference will be FIF only. So here FIF frequency that we will be maintaining by having gang tuning capacitor in between RF amplifier and local oscillator. So this is how we can resolve issues regarding tuning and we can improve quality factor of super heterodyne receiver. Now let us discuss what is image frequency in a super heterodyne receiver. So here I will consider one case in which we have RF frequency over here right FRF frequency is over here and local oscillator frequency that is FRF plus FIF. So what will happen is like over here there will be two frequency components addition that will be 2 FRF1 plus FIF which we don't want as it is high frequency component and difference is FIF and this is what the signal which we wanted to have. Now we can have FIF for another case even. So see over here if I say I am receiving signal that is FRF plus 2 FIF right in that case over here local oscillator frequency is that FRF plus FIF and in that case addition will be 2 FRF plus 3 FIF which is high frequency which we don't want but difference of this two you can see that is FIF only. So even though we have different signal which we receive it over here from antenna we have FIF frequency right and that shape that explains we have some problem in received signal. So this is what image frequency which we can say. So when we receive image frequency at that time difference will be FIF only at receiver side to input to the IF amplifier and that cannot decode message signal over here right. So this is the problem which is image frequency problem and to resolve this issue of image frequency all we can do is we can increase intermediate frequency. So if we increase FIF in that case we can resolve issue of image frequency. So you can see in case of if we increase FIF in that case this frequency will go high. So this problem regarding image frequency can be resolved. right? So even we receive different signal at receiver side, we extract same signal FIF at output of mixture and that received signal is image frequency that is FRF plus 2 FIF, right? And it should not happen and to resolve this issue, all we want is we need to increase FIF frequency, then we can be able to resolve this issue of image frequency. So this is the case which we know as image frequency and see if local oscillator frequency that is FRF minus FIF right in that case this image frequency that will be FRF minus 2 FIF but as I have told you we don't consider FLO greater uh, FLO less than FRF and there are some reasons so for that I have made separate session but if you have FLO means local oscillator frequency which is FRF minus FIF in that case image frequency will be FRF minus 2 FIF. But as I have told there are some issues regarding uh, cost of the circuit as if you consider local oscillator is equals to FRF minus FIF. So we don't consider it. I hope that you have understood this session. In next session I will discuss parameters of super heterodyne receiver. And after that one more session that I have made based on super heterodyne receiver where I have explained how to select local oscillator frequency and why local oscillator frequency should be greater than FRF means received signal frequency. So all those basics that I have discussed it with separate session. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions 
definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos which will resolve your issues thank you so much for watching this video